Well, now we have Peter Farkas of Ferret DB. So you and Peter Zaitsev are in the Himalayas and hopefully not suffering from altitude sickness or something like that. We come up with an idea of Mongo protocol on top of Postgres. Yes. Is that greatly simplifying things? Uh, <laughs> glad to be here. Um, I can't guarantee you that we were not suffering from altitude sickness. When Good, you were enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes, we were in the Himalayas and we were talking about how MongoDB did the bait and switch with the license where they were open source and then they switched over to SSPL in 2018. And we were kind of waiting for years for someone to come up with, um, with an alternative and that never happened. And that's why we decided to do it ourselves. Okay. And your first release to 1.0 came out a month ago? Yes, it came out about a month ago. Since then, we had another release, 1.1, which introduced uh, SQLite support as well. So now we support SQLite uh, and Postgres and SAP HANA to some extent and also Tigris. Yeah, cool. Uh, we just had Ovase in here from Tigris. And um, the, I've been playing with, with Ferret a little bit, and I do have a talk on it tomorrow. Um, very impressive. I am not a Mongo expert. But the little bit I was using, I was real happy with. I mean, really amazing. I, I brought down your Docker container and got it running. And I pulled down the Percona version of Mongo Shell. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing all the Mongo stuff. And it's kind of like, okay, why would anyone need to run Mongo anymore? Yeah, so the point of FerraDB is exactly this, where you just you can just use it transparently without having to worry about any changes on the application level. It behaves like MongoDB and um, can just use it without any modifications. And it's open source and it works. I mean, what else do we need? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you can use all the tools like uh, you know even MongoDB Compass or uh, or all of the you know uh, NoSQL browsers out there. So anyone who uses FerretDB uh, coming from the MongoDB world, they can just uh, stay with their you know um, tools they are used to. Very cool. Um, what's coming up in the future? You can give us a hint at that uh, new goodies coming. So building up MongoDB compatibility is. Uh, uh, hard in a sense that there are a lot of features in MongoDB mm -hmm. and it's very hard to um, to uh, set the priorities on which features will be developed. We actually have a public roadmap on GitHub where you can see uh, the um, current priorities in terms of what features we are, uh, yeah. we are working on. Um, but the big things would be um, we are aiming for several applications to become compatible with FerretDB. And many of these uh, JavaScript frameworks like Meteor, Meteor applications, they are heavy users of MongoDB and we would like to provide an open source alternative to them, um, I think, in the next uh, two months. Wow, two months. Yeah. Well, um, to say I'm impressed with FerretDB is an understatement. And, and thank you, Peter, for, for doing that and for going to the Himalayas with Peter's eye to, <laughs> to come up with all that. Thank you so much, Dave. And one more thing, uh, we are also compatible with Percona uh, server for Postgres. So um, I'm not sure if you tested it with uh, not Percona yet, flavor. That, that's one of the things I want. But please do that as well. I know it works with our flavor of, of the Mongo shell. So nice. it's a win-win-win all around. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thanks, Dave.